Hi, my name is Bert Boerland and this is Bert's Screencast of the Day. This episode I'm going to rant about not to use Photoshop for web design. Um, I'm co um, I work for Wundercrowd, which is a, 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 an open source based on Drupal uh, implementer of uh, our websites. We build a lot of websites. Uh, we're doing the technology, we're doing the UX, we're doing the UI, and we're doing the design. But sometimes design is done by uh, uh, other people, uh, other companies, and unfortunately, people still um, design in Photoshop. Um, if you design in Photoshop, your design can be printed, and if your design can be printed, hmm, you're a dead tree. You're, you're barking up the wrong tree, literally, because Photoshop is not is a drawing, it's maybe for drawing for visual arts, it's maybe for photos editing, but it's not a tool to design interactive elements, responsive web design. So lately there's a huge trend to kill it. I'm a big, big favorite. This article is from 2012. And still it's true, responsive web design is killing Photoshop. If your designer still use Photoshop, not for the graphical element, but for the website, he or she is doing it wrong. He or she should be designing in the browser. There are lots of tools for that. Um, I know a lot of uh, uh, designers who use uh, uh, who use uh, Envision app. My personal opinion is a fool is a tool uh, is still a fool. So it doesn't matter which tool he's using or she's using. Some some girls are fools as well. Um, as long as uh, as he's using uh, his brains or her brains and and let the tool follow. So. Um, what a what a designer should do, apart from the graphical, uh, the, the the visual elements, is designing style guides. And a style guide is um, all elements of a website. Like for example, this is a heading, and for example, this is an icon, and this, and for example, uh, uh, here is an, uh, a message, uh, and for example, a subscribe button is this way. Now there are a couple of um, um, out there um, um, uh, style guides public. Uh, your designer should make uh, these uh, 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 style guides, so use it. And one of the best, for example, the color schemes, the, the font types, the, one of the best I know of is a company I love. It's uh, um, Mailchimp. Uh, here it's, uh, uh, it's a it's complete page about why they did this process and opened it up because you shouldn't have to. You there's no need for opening it up. And here you see um, if I look at the the, the design patterns. Um, here is, uh, for example, this is how a menu works, and this is a grid system, and these are internal links, and this is also uh, one third, one third, one third, one eighth, seven eighths, etc. And this is the cutters, and uh, even the HTML is there. Uh, so the uh, what fonts they're using, the typography, uh, how a table is uh, um, uh, is made up. For example, this is ex excellent. This stuff, any web builder uh, loves this stuff, and one of the best things. Um, statuses codes. I've never seen in Photoshop an error designed because there are no errors in Photoshop, are there? So um, I really, really like this. If you're into web design, if you're into um, um, the now, don't use Photoshop. This is my personal rant. I hope to uh, um, um, that designers and coders will work together to a better future, a better web, and with better tools. See you next time. Bye.